Good morning, travelers, wanderers, and pilgrims. Oh my gosh, I'm having the worst time with my phone right now. It just did an update, and the phone app or the camera app wants to keep shutting down in the middle of my video. It just closes. <laughs> And I, I, I'm trying to do, I'm not going to do live videos anymore because I, I I want to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to hear what I have to say in, in certain areas. And I'm at Bakewell right now. I'm tired, um, I, admittedly. Like I said, I don't know when, I'm not going to hide anything. I am not going to, you know, try to pretend everything's great when it's not. And today it's not. Uh um, I, I'm, I'm going to become very, very centered today on my walk. Um, two days ago, I fell pretty hard uh, and um, in, in mud, I fell into a mud puddle, and uh, I tweaked my solar plexus right up underneath my ribs, and it's really tender and sore. And... Uh, so sleeping on the pad last night in my mummy bag, a great place, by the way. I'm at a Quaker friend's house meeting, friend's meeting house, um, and a uh, beautiful place in Bakewell. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just didn't get the quality of sleep uh, required for this, um, so... But we're just going to trudge on. <laughs> my hair is a mess. Oh, my God. Uh, and so I um, I just wanted to share a couple of things with you real quick before, before, ooh, excuse me, before I get on the way here. The first is uh, the people I have met. Peter, Charlie, I wrote a little bit about it on my post uh peter is the, he's retired now but he's he was the general practitioner or gp for the village of em uh em is uh, it's a small village it's not that big and uh, he spent 30 years as the general practitioner people would come and knock on his door to uh inquire about their ailments and uh, and he'd go and make house visits you know um, he said to me, sometimes people still come and knock on his door. Uh, and uh, uh, such an amazing man. He's, he was a doctor on an expedition team to Nepal. Um, uh, his wife, Lynn, they're my hosts. Uh, Lynn's the church warden for the, the local uh, parish church there. And, and um, she's climbed Kilimanjaro. They both walked the Great Wall of China. Uh, uh, she white White River rafted the Zambezi River. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, just amazing people. Charlie holds the UK, I think it's UK as opposed to England, UK record for long distance walking in a single year, 6,900 miles. I'm thinking my 4,600 miles is long. Heck no. <laughs> oh, she's so oh, good. I can't laugh. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I, I, I've just met some amazing people. And these are these are just three of them. And there's, we had an amazing dinner together. They made me paella because I'm going to Santiago. And she didn't know it, but one of my most absolute favorite desserts is a crumble. And it's particularly a strawberry rhubarb crumble with custard, by the way. But she made an apple strawberry um, uh, crumble with custard. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, my God. I just, you know, and uh, it was an amazing evening of great conversation, great friendship, good laughter. And uh, Peter walked with me in the morning, and, and um, uh, just we just had a wonderful conversation. And and he said to me something that struck me. Uh, sorry. In an interesting way, and I, I, I don't know what to do with it. Um, is that I inspired him. 
And I inspire Charlie. You know, Charlie's walked 6,900 miles. He's walked back and forth across England like nine times, you know. I don't know. I, it, it's just more than nine, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, these guys inspire me. Uh, being an inspiration to people is uh, can be really humbling, you know. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it's, um, it, 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 I, I just don't, and, and they're in their, it's like 70 something years old, 77 years old. You know, here I am 59, I, I don't feel old, uh, and they're not old either. When you, when you think about, when you look at them, you're like, holy cow, you can't be close to that. You just, they're, they're so youthful and so, um, but the thing, the thing that was shared the most, uh, apart from my identity of interest, was this uh, this level of love, this level of of recognition about human being being human, um, this this uh, this genuineness, this this. Uh, um, I, it's really really hard to describe. And I, I'm, I've been, been experiencing it again and again and again and again. You know, with all the troubles that we experience and we face in our, our in our world right now, uh, we have to slow down. Like, go to our neighbor and see how they're doing. Ask them. Ask them what was an inspirational thing that that they did in their life. Ask them what inspires them. Go to your neighbor and ask. Ask your coworker that's sitting next to you, what is it that inspires you? There, there is something. I love human beings. I love human beings. And there's something about human beings when we're willing to go beneath the surface and do some sharing, our world is so fast paced. It's back and forth, back and forth, go to work, come home, go to work, come home, soccer games, this thing, go to that friend's. It's all external. What if we just stopped? What if we just slowed down and went internal with everybody, with our friends and with our coworkers and our family members? What if we did that? What if we ask them, what inspires you? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the answer. <laughs> I'm not looking for an answer. But I'm, I'm definitely uh, getting a, a, an enormous picture of the quality of human beings that exist on this earth. It doesn't matter what the news says. It doesn't matter what media says. It just doesn't. They don't know. They think they're telling the good story. They're not. They miss so much. They miss a lot. It's, it's, it's really incredible. And I'm just honored. I'm humbled. Uh, and my love for human beings is deepening because of the love that they're sharing with me. And so... Um, yeah, I just wanted to take a minute to to share some of this because it's it's rather. I'm going to walk for 14, 15 kilometers today. This is going to be my thinking, uh, and uh, hopefully it won't be a tough walk. <laughs> hopefully it'll be flat. <laughs> uh, yesterday was a good climb up over this this hill, a part of this estate. Go to your neighbor. Go to your coworker. Go to your friend. Go to a family member and ask them, what inspires you? I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Whether you're getting up for work or coming home from work or spending time with family or just falling off to sleep, be safe. Talk to you soon.